the Royal Swedish Academy of Sciences has decided to award the 2023 Nobel Prize in Physics in equal shares to Pierre Agostini, the Ohio State University, USA, Ferenc Krauss, Max Planck Institute for Quantum Optik, Garsching, and Ludwig, Ludwig Maximilians Universität München, Germany, and Anne Lier, Lund University, Sweden, for experimental methods that generate attosecond pulses of light for the study of electron dynamics in matter. <laughs> 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 it uh, means, of, of course, I'm, I'm overwhelmed, uh, and and uh, it is it is a fantastic uh, fantastic feedback that uh, the way that uh, we are going and uh, the goals that we are pursuing are worth to be pursued. Uh, I guess this is not only an important message to me and to my uh, group, but also to the whole community, which is uh, rapidly growing all over the world. Now I feel tired. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm still a bit surprised, but I understand why they chose the committee. I mean, the Nobel Committee chose this kind of field for award. It's important because for the past 20 years, I mean, people, people have been working really actively in this field and uh, the, the uh, from the 400 uh, attosecond we had at the beginning, uh, they are now at 50 uh, or even less. So they have, I mean, the field has gained an order of magnitude in duration and this is very important. Helt utroligt, helt utroligt fantastisk. Jag är mycket, mycket tacksam. Jag hoppas fortsätta med, med den här forskningen. Jag tycker det är fortfarande är mycket att undersöka, att förbättra, att, att förstå. Så vi, det, det är en väldigt intressant och dynamisk forskningsfält. Det är fortfarande är mycket att göra. Så jag hoppas kunna fortsätta. Entering the area where we are doing our attosecond photography of the microscopic uh, world. Um, here you see three what we call attosecond beamlines, uh, which uh, are our high-speed cameras.